Hey guys, welcome back. Well, let's go take a look at uh, how the logs are drying in the kiln. So we are at 118, 25% uh humidity in there so <clears throat> it's not bad today is actually four days almost exactly from when i put it in i haven't opened her up yet this will be the first time so i have no idea what i'm going to see so typically when i'm done with the a normal drying process with like you know typical firewood i'm usually it's around 16 percent relative humidity which that's what it should be at tomorrow, five days. Now this is only at 120 degrees, so it may vary depending, because it's not as hot as it usually is. All right, one second. Jesus, all right. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. So, wow, it's actually kind of impressive. Hoping you can see that. So every single log has cracks in it. Look at this. Look at that. And even the ones inside here. Remember, if you remember from the beginning, see that one? Not one log was cracked and every single piece that I can see is, wow, that's actually kind of cool. I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, so it's working, 120 degrees. And she's uh, she's drying. I got to set you down again, sorry. Okay. Wow, so four days. And it's, it's cracked everything, so it's definitely drying. So obviously and that one log was really cracked. Now, it doesn't mean that the inside is, is really dry, you know. Obviously, the bigger the cracks, the more airflow you're going to get, more moisture is going to come out. So that's a good sign. I'm pretty, uh, I didn't think I was, it was going to be like that, but hey. And that's only heating it to 120, so, which is good because... Like I said, I didn't want the, the boiler to have to work too hard just for its own boiler fuel, you know, so that's good. Um, that's four days. I mean, tomorrow will be five and may hell, maybe I'll let it go six days. I'm still expecting the inside of the log to be, what do we say it was, 27% roughly that one piece, so... Who knows? Maybe it'll be a sub 20. Uh, I'm, we'll find out. I, depending on what the relative humidity is at, if it's around 16, 17% tomorrow, I'll pull it out. If it's not, I'll let it go one more day. But if it's close, I'll, I may take it out. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, so that's a little update there. I mean, four days. I mean, every single log that I could see without having any light in there was cracked. So that's good. That's actually really good. So, <clears throat> well, yeah, no, stick along. I'm actually going to show you something I, that I got today. Uh, so I think you guys may like it. So stay tuned. All right. So I just received this in the mail today. So this is what I got. So it's a heat operated fan. So both of these spin when this gets warm. So I got the one that has, it comes with the bracket, so you could put it like on a buddy heater like this or a portable heater. But you can also put this on a, a wood stove or someplace that gets hot. So, which actually works out great because I use this in my deer stand, but any of you guys know that have one of these heaters, if you're not right on this heater, all the heat just goes straight up, right? And I always, when I'm hunting or whatever I'm doing, I'm always hovered over this thing, especially when it gets really cold, which kind of sucks. So I got this fan, obviously it comes with this bracket. So I'm curious to see how much heat this actually blows, 
right? So it's activated when this base gets high, which I'm sure some of you guys have seen these. The brand on this, I believe, is pronounced Syntec. I'll have a link down in the description if you guys want to check them out. Uh, they make a couple different versions of this. So it's no batteries, no nothing. It's obviously when this base gets warm, it just somehow generates power to operate the fans. So let's try it here. Get the pilot light lit. Leave. Hopefully there's enough gas in here. All right. And you can center this in the middle. So if I got both burners on, you'll, you know, generate more heat coming out. But for purposes here, I just stuck it in there. So the bracket's actually really easy to put on. They tell you to put it on the second one. I got it on the third one. And then you kind of clip it over, as you can see there. Real easy to do. I mean, it comes with the directions and whatnot, how to do it. Um, so once this gets warm, as you can tell, it's starting to want to go. It activates, and I think it goes up to, uh, I can double check here. Yeah, they say try not to go above 650 degrees Fahrenheit, which is extremely hot, so... And then it'll start to blow air. Because right, right now, before this came on, you got to be like this close to be able to feel the heat. So if this even moves remotely a little bit of air, that's huge. So you don't have to be right. Like, I can start to feel it now. I'm sure in the video it's probably not capturing how fast it's spinning, but it's, it's moving really fast. I know it's probably because of the light. Like from this way, it doesn't look like it's spinning, but it's it's spinning really fast. So let me take, so this is like part of the pamphlet that it came with. It's pretty thick paper. Like, so I'm gonna have it where it's like this, above it. See how it's bent? Let's see what happens. So it pushes it. I know it's not the best representation of airflow. It's kind of hard to do that, but I mean, I'm, I don't know, three feet back from it right now and I can feel the heat. So I think this product's, I'd have to double check exactly how much it costs, but I want to say it's, this one's around 30 bucks. Don't hold me to that. Like I said, I'll have a link down in the description for this, but I know a lot of you guys that follow along, you guys do hunt. Uh, you do you know a lot of stuff in the garage or your shop or whatnot or a lot of you guys have followed me because of the boiler have your own wood stoves and stuff so this is a nice product to check out i mean it blows air and it doesn't cost you anything once it sits there it activates all by itself so i think that's pretty cool i mean i've seen these at like my local hardware shop and i've always wanted to check them out i know there's a lot of them out there that are you know over 100 bucks and this is well below that and to me, it seems to be built pretty nice. And like I said, they have a couple different variations of this. I got the dual fan model because I wanted more, I suppose. But I know they make a single fan, bigger, like bigger blade ones. So, but yeah, check them out. They're actually, this is kind of nice. I mean, it couldn't have come at a better time because when I hunt now, I, yeah, I'm in a nice enclosed stand, but it's cold. And I, I feel the heat here because like I said, typically I'm hovering over like this. Because the heat obviously just comes straight up. Or here, it's blowing it out towards me, which is sweet. So I'm actually pretty excited about this. Now, if, say, I close my deer stand up, you know, like right now it's in the 20s. It'd be 20 degrees in there, right? It's not very, I don't have it insulated. I mean, I do have the whole inside plywooded. I could set this up in there, you know, run it for 10 minutes, see what the temp rises, and then try with the fan. I'm sure the fans would make a difference, but how much of a difference is going to be? Because the heat's just going to escape right out of the, right out of the building. Like I said, it's not closed off. I don't really have a small shop or room I could put in. I don't really feel like running this in the house, even though you can. House is warm as it is. So, but I, to tell you the truth, I, I'm standing back roughly three feet, four feet almost, and I can feel the heat hitting me in the face. I can feel it on my stomach like my jacket's warm because you ain't feeling it from here. I mean, there's nothing giving off here at all. 
but here is all the heat. So, it's actually, and you don't hear a thing. I mean, I don't hear any motors running, which is nice. So if you had it like in a, a trailer or something, with that on it, it's gonna circulate the heat. That way the heater is not right on you, which is cool. Now I wish I had a, a wood stove in the house because I'd put that right on there. And I know it would give you airflow versus a wood stove. Obviously, if it's in a smaller room, the whole room's gonna be warm. But you could probably have a lesser fire with this on there and get the air to flow. So maybe you're gonna go through less wood. Um, I'm sure if I stuck this on one of my PEX lines, which actually I might do that. I might test that. Take off one of the insulation on my PEX, maybe in my basement. I might do that. Set this on there, somehow secure it to the PEX and see if it spins. Because once the metal on it gets warm, that's where the, that's where the heat comes from. It's from the metal getting up to whatever degrees. Like right now, I, I wouldn't want to touch this because this metal is going to be extremely hot. Yeah, that's, that's, holy hell, that's really hot. So, and that's, you know, so obviously my PEX lines are going to average around 180 degrees. Well, technically it should be blowing pretty close to 180 degrees off of there, you would think, right? So, I don't know. If you guys are interested in that, check out the link below. I don't get any commission on the link. It's just for me to show it to you. I think it's pretty cool. Doesn't cost you anything except for the cost of the product. So, I mean, I don't know, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, they sell a bunch of other stuff too, but this to me is, I've always looked at them. I talked to them because my brother has a fireplace. My sister has a, a wood stove. My mother-in-law, they have a wood stove and a product like this, because our winters here are long. I mean, anybody knows up in the Midwest, winters are long. I mean, I feel like it takes, it lasts forever. So yeah, I know I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, it's, it's heat related, you know, firewood kind of related. Cause obviously you're going to put it on a stove. So I figured I'd bring that to you. It kind of goes hand in hand with what I do. So, um, nothing crazy today, but yeah, check them out. I mean, like I said, the links down below, uh, if you guys have one of these, uh, whether it's this manufacturer or not, let me know. I'm curious to see what you guys think. If they work well, is it worth the money? Uh, for the little bit of money they cost, I think so. I mean, like I said, I'm standing here and I can feel the heat. I mean, I should have my heat gun out. I don't know if that, that doesn't really work the greatest, but it's warm. So yeah, uh, coming up, I'm gonna be doing a lot of firewood production here. I gotta really get going on that. Uh, so stick around for that. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Just a little heating episode, I suppose, but but yeah, that's pretty much what I got for you guys today. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think. And uh, yeah, but as always, keep burning.